What's up, I'm Athletes. That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And unfortunately, I will not be there with you today. But fear not, you are in good hands. Now, in the back of the classroom, you will pick up these three sheets of paper. So one will say warm up, and then the other two sheets will be along with your um, inverse practice test. So that'll be due next class, you know, by by that. Now, as you go through, there'll be two sheets of paper there for that. So that'll be your homework. That'll be your homework for that. So do start on the warm up first, and then the substitute will go over the answer key for you with that. Now that is also, if you look on the syllabus down here on day 18, where the keys are, uh, you'll also see the keys posted there for the review test and the warm up. Now, in addition to that, you'll also be doing another fun-filled activity where you'll uh, the sub will give you this sheet right here, and each one of these will have a different drawing. And you're going to show your work for solving there, and then you'll put your answer over here, and, and you'll check your answers with the sub. So if you get one of the things wrong or incorrect, then you'll go through. Now, here's what it'll look like. So one of the pages will be this. So these will all be on yellow sheets of paper. So you'll look for, so you'll draw the magnifying glass in that space where it says drawing, and then you'll go to find this problem, the answer to this problem. When you get the answer to that problem, now it's not 5 13 so it'll be somewhere else on one of the other yellow sheets. So that'll be the next picture. So you'll look for another picture that has that answer on it, and you'll start that. So you'll continue to work through each one of those for that piece, and I'll give you a little bit of practice there as well. So that's what you have to do for today. Now, there will be one other thing potentially to have you guys do, and that'll be this piece right here. So you'll get another uh, piece, and these are all going to be laminated. So uh, you can do your work on a separate sheet of paper, but when you start here, you're going to start with over at arc sine of sine of pi over 6. When you get that answer, so that will kind of look like so as you go through, you'll work on this problem, and you start out with arc sine of sine of pi over 6. So we can do that one together. I'll give you one freebie here. So arc sine of sine of pi over 6. So when you think about the sine of pi over 6, you got to think about your unit circle, and what is the sine or the y value of pi over 6. Now, when I get done figuring that part out, then I have to take the arc sine of that. So I'm like, all right, these two, because sine of pi over 6, whew, there goes the bell. Hold, please. Yes, now the bell is done. So arc sine of pi over 6, because this is in quadrant number 1 right here, and our domain restriction for arc sine is in quadrant 1, then this is going to end up just being this guy right here. So we're going to go in this day, direction, then we're going to figure out the arc tangent of tangent of pi over 2. Now, depending on that answer, we have, you know, we could go this way, this way, this way, or over to the left. So you got all these different answers. So you can go through and check. That one, as you go through that entire sheet, that's another activity for you to do. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. And if school should be canceled on Tuesday, that's right. We will still have our test. The next day we're in school, whenever that is. So if you guys have any questions, reach out, and I will catch up with you later. Make it a great day as always. I love you guys, and I miss you. Peace out.